But I'll tell you something. You know, when you talk sports in Philadelphia, if you hang in there long enough, if you're patient long enough, you get rewarded. And what we're rewarded with here is, is one of the greatest miniseries that you can ever write on a script. Ben Simmons in Brooklyn coming back Thursday. And today, Carson Wentz comes right back in our realm as the quarterback of the Washington Commanders. It, it can't get any better than this. I mean, this is a gift for all of us. You know, a lot of people will go, well, I don't know if it's a gift. If they, if they beat you, then, uh, you know, they, c- come on. We can't ask for more. We can't ask for seeing Ben Simmons play against a team now that is better than his team. We can't ask for more than, than Car- unless Carson Wentz pulls a miracle out of his freaking ear. He, he, you're going to see Carson Wentz fail amongst us. Now, I guess it's possible that somehow he rekindles his career. But what drama? Do we not appreciate this kind of drama? I know people sometimes are worried about, well, I like to trade these guys out of our own division, out of our own conference. I think just the opposite. I go, I want those guys, these failed guys who did their best to step on our throats while they were here, now try to come back against us. I love the subplot. You mean to tell me you're not going to be cranked up for every game the Sixers play Brooklyn now and in the future? You're not going to be cranked up for every game Washington has to come here with Carson Wentz as the quarterback? It's amazing. I couldn't have written it down any better. It's a gift today. Sometimes you get a gift. I, we, we walk in here, all of a sudden somebody, somebody has a big box with a bow on it for us. I, it's I, amazing. I can't believe it, Mike. I, I, I don't mean to cut you off. I am shocked. Like, I knew he was going to get they, – they've been throwing him under the bus out there. I knew he was going to get traded or released. But to get traded to Washington in division right the day before the Ben Simmons return, I literally – Anthony we were talking, has written movies. They might not buy it. This is so far-fetched. Like, oh, what are you doing? This is so unrealistic. You got to s- suspend reality to, you know, to dive into a movie. This is real life. <laughs> Carson Wentz is now in the Wait, Eagles division. Here's the thing. It, it's too good to be true. Now, I know, listen, I'm talking as a sports talk host, but I think, I think the people f- would feel this also. Even if Carson Wentz rekindles his career and beats the Eagles, we have the option now bitching and moaning that the Eagles made a colossal mistake. <laughs> and, and if he fails, we go, see, Carson, you are a creep. You wreck everybody that you go to. Yeah. I mean, it's just a gift from sports gods. The two situations are so similar, it's unbelievable between <laughs> Ben Simmons and Carson Wentz. The two, the two biggest failures who, tr- who blew up teams, and, and now they're, like, right in our view again. It's, it's just, a, like, we... My, my, my sense is we're going to sit back and go, see? <laughs> Told you so. You guys wanted Ben up there <laughs> in Washington team. You think you got stuff left in Carson? <laughs> we, and most, mostly we can do that, right? Right. <laughs> I think uh, that's what's really going to happen. But if it works the other way around, you go, no, we're not with the Sixers. The Sixers improved themselves. We don't know if the Eagles are better off with Hurts. If, if Wentz plays out of his mind and somehow rekindles the talent that everybody thought he had. Then we sit there and go, see, this organization really mucked this up, didn't they? Yeah, and it's it's, it's unbelievable. It, it's I cannot believe it. I'm beyond belief that this would happen. And it's almost like it, it, the, the drama, it's almost like at this point uh-huh. we should just lean into it as people because yeah. – at times, it's like, oh, calm down. You just worry about yourself. Make it about us. Yeah. The, the sports gods are telling us no. Uh-huh. The sports gods are telling us keep paying attention to Ben Simmons. He didn't go to the last three road games for the Nets. Mm-hmm. He's the one who decides to just come to this game yep. and not go to the other ones. Carson Wentz could have went to 30 other teams other than the Colts mm-hmm. and the Eagles. And of all teams, he ends up with the one closest damn near to us, if you include traffic, because getting up to New York's a pain in the drive. Are you kidding me? In the division. So that means at least once, even if they draft a quarterback, Carson Wentz versus the Eagles in a divisional game? And if he plays halfway well, we're seeing Carson Wentz twice a year for the next couple of years. Uh. Plus Ben Simmons, if he decides to play basketball again, 
four or three or four times per year with the Nets plus the playoffs. It's it's just wonderful. Uh, we've just been bestowed a gift 